This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. The favorite metaphor for the epidemic is now a marathon. Everyone is using that. They are saying that we are now entering into the final stretch of a long process and we should not relax our guard. They are calling for masks, above all else, social distancing, groups of no more than ten, and hand sanitizing. From what I can tell, from what I am hearing, the general response to this is, why don't you go straight to hell? Samuel Peeps here, reporting to you in the year 1 CE. When he took office, the vaccines were already in the pipeline, and he had nothing to do with that, but the PM, who, ref who prefers to be known as Mr. Vaccine, continually boasts about the huge numbers of people who have been vaccinated. He ignores the economy and the southern border, but he can't get enough of the vaccines. He wears a black mask, and he urges caution. The field mouse has sworn an oath to wear a mask until he dies. So-called health experts are now discussing a fourth wave of the virus. I think I missed the second and third waves. Also, new, unnamed variants are popping up and scaring people. At the same time, some states are canceling all restrictions. On the internet this morning, Michigan reported a record number of cases. The field mouse, like a volcano, has issued what he calls Consolidated Health Orders, CHO. He says they will simplify things, a good thing, I guess, for us poor niggers with our limited powers of understanding. I think he cooked up the CHOs just to keep busy to keep his hand in, and to continue to tell us poor niggers what to do. I heard a man and a woman on the radio discussing politicians, and what a sorry lot they are. De Tocqueville wrote the same, probably 200 years ago. He called the office holders the shame of democracy a great ideal sadly realized. In order to be a politician, the woman said, you need a big ego and a thick skin. Narcissists, the man said. Yes, the woman replied, just the sort to lead us astray. Baseball, so haunted and decimated last year, is now proceeding smoothly, as if nothing at all is amiss. Confusion, confusion. I heard a doctor talking about the outbreaks in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. And he said something I did not know. He said that if you had been vaccinated, that does not mean that you are immune to the coronavirus. You are still susceptible, he said, and as if you did not have the sh shot. What the shots do, he said, is minimize the symptoms you will get if you contract the virus. And this is where I get confused. They told us if everybody, or nearly everybody, got vaccinated, then we would have Herd immunity. Moo! Now, I know that is not true. A vaccinated person is not immune. So what are they talking about? Are they just talking? 
It is very, very frustrating living in this fog, which is the coronavirus epidemic. Yet another mass shooting in South Carolina. Three adults and two children dead. What is there to say or do about this? We are armed and we are crazy. This is precisely what you would expect. There is constant media bombardment about vaccines. Get your vaccine. The vaccines will save us. I now think that is maybe somewhat true, but the vaccines will not prevent anyone from contracting the virus and getting sick. I do not believe this is widely known. People generally believe that if they get the shots, they're immune. When people who have been vaccinated start getting sick, then I believe we'll see how we really stand. The PM is making noise about executive orders for gun control. He will go ahead and do that in order to save us and not appear, God forbid, to be at a loss as to what to do. Anything but that. And whatever he does will result in confusion and consternation. Got to say it one more time, since it doesn't ever seem to sink in, and it won't this time either, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Amen.